Witness the making of one of Malaysia's biggest projects ever. A colossal project, two years in the making, costing a total of 11.3 billion ringgit over 10 years. Aimed at transforming the nation's broadband network into a world-class next-generation high-speed fiber-optic driven network with a mission to transform the nation for the future. It will involve some of the best minds in the country going up against the forces of nature in their quest to complete the project in world record time. There is a risk, but failure is not an option. This is the incredible story of the making of Malaysia's high-speed broadband project. First century Malaysia, a diverse multiracial nation of over 28 million people. On a mission to become a fully developed nation of the future. Prime Minister Dato Sri Mohammed Najib has grand plans for Malaysia. My vision for Malaysia is to transform Malaysia. Uh, this is a journey uh, that will catapult us to become a fully developed nation uh, by the year 2020. The seeds of this plan began in 1996, when former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad introduced Vision 2020. At that time, everybody was talking about uh, communication, the um, uh, progress made by communication, and uh, the, we, we can communicate in so many different media, by sound, by pictures. So if we are to make progress towards 2020, for example, we need to have the facilities for communicating because it is an age of knowledge. On a quest to become a fully developed nation, a crucial need is identified. Malaysia needs to upgrade its broadband network, the lifeline of communications. But how does the network function? When we access the internet through our devices, the information we seek is located in servers around the world. The devices are connected to the servers through wireless connections and wired cable connections. Software allows the devices to communicate with the servers while the cables act as highways in which data is transmitted. This upgrade will be known as the High Speed Broadband Project, an ambitious plan to transform Malaysia's broadband network to a next generation fiber optic driven network. The goal, to enhance the speed at which we can communicate. To execute the project, the government joins forces in a first-of-its-kind public-private partnership with the number one telecommunications provider in Malaysia, TM. Here we are embarking upon a very ambitious and yet essential project in partnership with the government of Malaysia. So to us, you know, this is going to be the one where we have, uh, you know, we are given the opportunity to directly contribute to nation building. Telecommunications industry in Malaysia is truly dependent much on Telecom Malaysia's facilities and therefore uh, whatever uh, TM is doing is actually complementary to the future of the industry in this country. There's no developed country uh, that is not strong in ICT and also in terms of high-speed broadband. You know? So it is almost like a prerequisite that to become a developed country we need to have the high-speed broadband. The initial target is to provide high-speed broadband access to 1.3 million premises by the end of the year 2012. It's a bold decision. No country in the world has ever achieved so much in so little time. The key areas targeted for the first phase of the rollout are the Klang Valley, Iskanda Malaysia Johor, and key industrial areas of Malaysia. It is one of the biggest investments ever into the nation's infrastructure. 
Well, this high-speed broadband uh, is one of the largest projects that TM has invested. Uh, it's a co-investment with the government of Malaysia. The total project cost is 11.3 billion ringgit over a span of 10 years. The cost of completing the project would be approximately equivalent to building a highway from Johor Bahru to Bangkok, Thailand. However, instead of cars, the new high-speed broadband network will be a super highway for information. With the pressure on, TM assembles its A-team. Experts from various fields are gathered with one goal in mind. To complete one of the biggest infrastructure projects ever in Malaysia. We have taken the approach of doing this HSBB project on an end-to-end -end basis, where it covers not just one portion of the network, but the whole end-to-end -end chain of the network. This means that broadband connections from the home to the core network to the international network will all be upgraded. Heavy machinery is called in for civil works that will take place in key areas around the country. A massive upgrade to the existing broadband network. After months of planning, the project rolls out. Leading the rollout operations is TM's Chief Technology and Innovation Officer, Giorgio Migliorina, and his team. Giorgio has led multiple telecom projects all over the world. He is fully aware of the challenges ahead. The scale of this project is massive. I think it's nothing that Malaysia has seen before. We are going to roll out fiber to 1.3 million homes. However, rolling out the project in Malaysia will have its own unique set of complexities. The rainfall in Malaysia is about three times the, weather, the, the rainfall in the UK, and it's about 50% higher than the rainfall in Japan. So you have to plan very carefully, because whenever it rains here, it pours, and we have to stop working until it finishes. At the same time, we also have to select the right materials. Whenever it trains here, there are a lot of ducts and manholes that fill up with water. So all the material that we need to use must be tested and proven to work in these very harsh conditions with very high humidity as well. In Putrajaya, the nation's administrative capital, civil works are underway as preparations are made before fiber cables can be laid underground. Heading the on-ground rollout team is Asmawati Yusof. We are at Putrajaya, constructing the civil works and manholes and laying of uh, ducts for the fiber optic cables. This will become the infrastructure for the uh, high-speed broadband project. The aim today is to lay six-way pipes underground. These pipes will act as underground ducts in which the fiber cables will be laid through. First, the team digs up a trench up to two meters deep and half a meter wide. The bottom must be flattened with a machine to ensure that the ground is solid. Then the first layer of three pipes goes to the bottom. Cement is laid over the pipes to keep it in place. Then the second layer of three pipes is laid on top of it and cement is poured over it again. However, a problem is brewing. Clouds. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Storm clouds are approaching on the horizon. If the work is incomplete before the rain comes, the rain will flood the trenches, causing the pipes to float up from the unhardened cement. A delay that the team wants to avoid. It's now a race against the weather to complete it. The weather holds off for just long enough for the remaining pipes to be laid in and the cement to harden. Finally, the pipes are covered up with earth again, sealing the pipes safely underground. It's a really close call today. While uh, the team is laying the pipes, the ducts, suddenly the weather decided to take a turn. At the end of the day, despite the challenges, the team got the job done.
These pipes are now ready to be inserted with fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables are made of a few layers. Its innermost layer is optical fiber. Optical fiber is a flexible, transparent fiber made out of glass. It is almost as thin as a strand of hair. Each strand is able to transmit large amounts of data at super speeds over long distances. It carries data through light that is refracted inside its core. The high-speed broadband project will involve over 700,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables, as well as thousands of motherboards for the exchanges. TM is working closely with their vendors across the country to ensure that each component is produced according to international standards. With the nation watching, they know that they cannot afford any mistakes. We are very much aware that the whole uh, Malaysia and the government is looking at us. And uh, definitely we are feeling a lot of pressure. Will TM be able to handle the pressure and complete the project in time? What other challenges lay ahead of them? Before you enter the manhole, you need to detect are there any uh, toxic gas or not. Malaysia has embarked on a grand transformation plan. The High Speed Broadband Project. The goal? to upgrade the nation's broadband network to one that is driven by next generation fiber optic technology. We want to be the best in the region and be able to achieve the 100% broadband penetration rate by the year 2020. Driving this historic project is Malaysia's leading telecommunications player, TM. When we embark into the unknown, there's always the risk of failure. Uh, but, you know, that will not stop us from trying our utmost best to make this a great success. The odds are stacked against them, for they aim to roll out the service in world record time. Well, the biggest challenge that I see in making sure that we meet the timeline as promised in the agreement with the government is the sheer coordination that I, we have to make at the Program Management Office to make sure that every part of the organisation are in tandem with the whole programme. With the nation watching closely, there is no turning back. To support the anticipated higher demand for bandwidth from Malaysia, TM must add additional routes to the existing international network. Out in the South China Sea, operations are underway to find new submarine cable routes. Leading this is TM's Marine Survey Officer, Khalil Hassan. It means by tomorrow night, we can compete on the block line. And also, there are also updates for... Khalil hopes for good weather on his expedition. The challenge for during the survey is uh, weather and uh, sea current. If the wave is uh, very high, maybe we will stop the operation for a while. And